Here's some breaking news. The AP just now reporting that the spending on the 2012 presidential election did surpass $2 billion. That, of course, is a record. I hope we got our money's worth. Anyway, let us move on across the pond. The French unemployment rate has just gone up to 10.3 percent. That's a big number. But the new French government promised that its tax the rich policies would help the economy. Why are we in the USA imitating failure? Did you know that California and New York and Hawaii are also poised to hit their richest people with a greater than 50 percent tax rate? Isn't that great? Emulate France. Well, here now is CNBC contributor Jim Pethokoukas of the American Enterprise Institute. Jim, I thought we wanted to emulate success, not failure. Uh, I thought so, too. Uh, and we can do, listen. The president wants to run an experiment to see how high we can crank up tax rates in this country without a hurricane economic growth. We don't, th th they're already running it in Europe. They're already running in France. They're running in Great Britain. Uh, the entire European experiment here is one, has been one of tax hike austerity. Even though they focus on the spending cuts, you're talking about a high tax area that's raised taxes even higher. And we see how well it's worked for them. And we're trying to do the same thing here. You know, it's, it's so interesting to me. At least the Brits, Jimmy, had the um, humility to acknowledge their mistake. They took their top income tax, correct me if I'm wrong, 40 percent to 50 percent. It didn't work. The revenues actually went down. Millionaires went down and a lot of them left the island. And now at least they're coming back and dropping it to 45 percent and probably take it down less than that. At least the Brits have some humility. The French don't seem to have any. Those socialists are going to go down with the ship. <laughs> they're, going to, they're going to go down with the ship. But, you know, when that ship goes down, there's not going to be any millionaires and billionaires left. They, will, they will have already left that ship and gone to Great Britain or more likely Switzerland. It'd be great to get them over here, but the, where our tax rates are going, they're not going to catch a break. Well, you know, those millionaires that are fleeing France and Britain, they're not going to California. No. The total combined tax rate there is now moving above 50%. They're not going to New York. Combined tax rate is above 50%. And, oh, yeah, they're not going to Hawaii. You remember Hawaii. That's where the president takes his vacations. Uh -huh. They're not going to Hawaii because those are over 50% too. Now, what is... California, New York, and Hawaii know that we don't know. Uh, I think they just do not believe, and I think you can say the same thing for the Obama White House. They think America's under tax and the tax rates can go dramatically higher despite these examples in Europe without it hurting economic growth. Uh, I think they are completely wrong. I think you can draw just the opposite conclusion of what's going on in Europe. But apparently we're going to go down that route anyway. Well, I mean, isn't that why President Obama wants to raise the tax rate? I mean, after all, you raise the tax rate in order to spend. And that seems to me that taxing and spending is his mantra, just like the East European mantra or the West European mantra, and just like the California and New York. I mean, why would you want to raise the tax rate, $1.6 trillion, Jim, if you didn't want to spend it? That's a big number, $1.6 trillion. Uh, it is. And listen, our good friend Jared Bernstein was in the New York Times the other day complaining about all the tax cutting in this country over the past 30 years. And what Jared says was, listen, we've gutted the tax code. We're just not getting enough revenue for all the spending we want. I would. Bingo. I would gut the tax code of all its special deductions and yeah. loopholes and whatnot and take the rate down to about 15 percent. I am a flat tax yeah. guy. What I don't get is why the United States wants to imitate the mistakes of Western Europe, Jim Pethokoukas. That's what I don't get. I'll give you the last word. Uh, I think it's stunning, and I hope we learn from our mistakes as quickly as they did in Great Britain. All right. Well said. Well said.